everyone. Um, hope everybody's doing great today. Um, you're going to have to forgive me uh, if I get a little teared up in this speech. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to pre-warn you. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, so I have a question for all of you. Who is the most influential person in your life? For many of us, we would say our mom or dad, grandparents, siblings, or even a coach or a teacher. My answer would definitely have to be my mom, Patty Webster. My mom was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but raised in Australia with her four brothers and sisters. Yes, she does have the adorable accent. <laughs> this special woman has impacted my life in so many ways, uh, showing me unconditional love and guidance and support. She has taught me patience, humility, compassion, and most of all, she has taught me to never give up and trust in the Lord. My mom is not only a devoted and caring mother to my sister and I, she's a wonderfully kind and hu human being. Since I was little, I've always heard, I just love your mom. <laughs> she has always treated others with kindness and compassion, never discriminating against anyone. Everywhere she goes, people just love to talk to her, and she loves to talk to them. As a mother of two, I've been able to understand all that goes into being a mom. A mother's role is so important in our child's life from the very beginning into adulthood. They give so much of themselves, including... Uh, guiding their children and passing on the necessary skills to be successful in the world. My mother has guided me through many journeys of my life and was even there for me uh, during my darkest hours. Always by my side, she has showed me how to never give up and to find strength within myself. As a child, my mom was at every soccer game and softball game, cheering me on. And when I say cheering me on, she was the loudest mom and was even thrown out of the stands a couple times when the ref or the umpire would make a bad call. She would pack the best lunches, always leaving me notes for encouragement throughout my day. And most importantly, my mom took us to church every Sunday and had us involved in catechism classes all the way through confirmation. She brought me to Christ and made sure I developed a relationship with my Lord and Savior. As I reached uh, my teen years, my mom showed me what hard work was. With only her GED, my mom studied and learned new skills in her job. She climbed the corporate ladder and became an engineer for Pacific Bell, which is AT&T today. I learned that it's never too late to learn something new or to try to better yourself. In fact, that's why I went back to school at 40 years of age to get a degree. Then at the age of 21, I became a young mother. My boyfriend, now husband, and I were so scared and nervous to become parents. And luckily for us, we had our moms to guide and lead the way. My mom was there to show me how to breastfeed, how to change, how to bathe, how to feed my baby, everything. However, the one thing that came very naturally was loving my own child. Finally, understanding what unconditional love was made me want to be the best mom I could be for my son. I read to him, sang to him, played with him, and loved with him as much as I possibly could. All of this is an example from my mother. As our family continued to grow, my mom made sure her grandchildren knew God. If we didn't go to church for some reason, she would come pick her grandbabies up and take them herself. I think bringing anyone to God, especially family, is probably the most important thing you can do as a child of Christ. From 2005 to 2013, I went through the darkest period of my life. I battled serious health conditions that almost killed me, and my mom was at my bedside every day making sure I received the utmost care. When I was 30 years old, I felt a tw twisted small bowel where nine inches of my bowel died. I underwent emergency surgery, needing a bowel resection. And from there, I developed two pulmonary embolisms in my lungs and pancreatitis. I was placed in ICU uh, for over three weeks due to internal bleeding. And needless to say, I was really sick. My mom would not leave my side. She helped bathe and feed me when I couldn't do it myself. She helped take care of my children so my husband could come see me after work, working 12-hour shifts. And then when I came home, she even nursed me back to health after every surgery. You may be asking, every surgery? Yeah, I've literally lost count on how many surgeries I've had. My doctors have had to go back in almost every year since, since to untangle my bowel due to adhesions. It's been a difficult road, and I wondered if I'd ever get back to a normal life again. My mom would just keep saying, pray and have faith in God. And after battling for eight years, I finally understood what my mom was always saying give it to God. Well, I finally did. I gave all my pain and suffering to him. Sorry. <laughs> and told him it was his to handle. That he could deal with the stress, the worrying, and decide when I was going to get better. 
Once I trusted him and gave up all control, things actually started turning around. My strength came back. No more adhesions, no more surgeries, no more pills. A miracle through God given to me by my mom. As you can see, even as an adult, my mom was still caring for my every need. My mom today is enjoying retirement and still keeps God at the center of her life. She continues to be a devoted Catholic and serves others by volunteering at her church and even the food pantry. And my mom and dad now have been married for 50 years this January, showing everyone what true love and commitment are. She's the center of our family, both immediate and secondary, and literally the glue that holds us all together. As a wonderful daughter of Christ, I can say with 100% certainty, I am truly blessed to have Patty Webster as my mom, and anyone who knows her knows just how special she truly is. Her unconditional love and support have literally been the foundation for my life. Thank you guys for this opportunity to introduce my mom to you, the most influential person in my life.